And the next step is to set up our domain name. So the domain name is just the name of your website. Like for Apple, it's called apple.com. For Facebook, it's facebook.com. And we also wanna have our own domain name for our website. And because we have chosen a hosting plan of 12 months or more, we can get a free domain for the first year by clicking on claim domain right here. And then here we can look for the domain that we wanna get. Now, for example, if you're gonna create a personal website, it could just be your name.com, or if creating a website for your company, it could be your company name.com. In general, I recommend to keep it as short and as simple as possible, maybe something that's easy to remember. Now, sometimes it's gonna be hard to find the domain that you actually want, and then you're gonna to have to be a bit creative. Something you could also do is change the domain extension here at the end. Usually I recommend to go with a .com domain. That's what people are familiar with. So this is something that I would prefer, but sometimes maybe when your personal name is already taken, you can also choose a .net domain. But like I said, I recommend to go with a .com if you can. Now my personal website will probably be called medicsmedia.com, but I already have that domain. So I'm just gonna add a one and look if that domain is available. Now we can see this one is, domain, is available so we can actually purchase it here or we can get it for free for the first year. And in general, I recommend not to use any numbers in your domain if that's not part of your brand name. But this is just for this video. I'm not gonna be using this domain any further after this video. So I'm just gonna be choosing this one right here and click on claim domain. And then to finish up the registration process for your new domain, you're gonna to have to enter some contact details of you if you're creating a website for yourself or of your company if you're creating the website for your company. So just enter all of your details and move on to the next step. Once that's done, we should get to this step right here. So let's click on continue. And then we can see an offer for hosting, but we already have hosting. So we can just ignore this and click on skip. I don't need a website. So now we're back in the hosting or dashboard and here under domains, we can see the domain that we have just registered. Now to complete the registration process, we wanna click on our domain. And then here we can see that there's a pending verification. This means that we also need to verify our email address for the domain as well. So go to your email inbox and here you should be able to find an email that says, please confirm your contact details for your domain. So let's click on it. And then here we just click on this link. Then here we wanna confirm all the information by ticking all of these boxes and click on submit. Once that's done, we can close both of these tabs and go back to our dashboard. And here, let's reload the page. And now we can see that the email verification status says verified.